Not this first one, though. Mavericks, Thunder, tied at one apiece. Now, Luka, big job in this one, 119-110. He had 29-10 and 7. Kyrie only had 9 and 11 assists. P.J. Washington with 29 points and 11 there. Uh, he was 7 of 11 from the 3. SGA finished with 33-12 and 8. This was a big one for Luka. Um, they distributed the ball. You saw the P.J. numbers right there. They combined for 38, 18 assists, and then everyone else was contributing, which is weird given the week and the narrative that we've heard coming out of the Dallas situation. So did that win last night do something for the Mavericks team confidence-wise moving forward? Well, for sure. You When you take home court back and you and you even up the series, I think winning game two is more important when you're going home than winning game mm -hmm. one. Now they have all the momentum. They're fresh off this win. Game one is just all just a distant memory. And now we're going home where we're a much better team and our crowd's going to be involved and it's going to be nuts in there. And this was a great game. It's crazy to think that Kyrie Irving took eight shots, and their I offense know. was one of the better offensive movement games that they've had. P.J. Washington got hot early. He hits five threes, and that's all because of the attention that Kyrie gets, the way he can get in the paint, kick out, and he's getting wide open looks. So I think when you have a balanced attack like that, we always said, Luka's usage rate's too high. When everybody gets involved, everyone's touching it and playing hot potato, that makes them contagious on the offensive end to, to play on selfish. That makes them more willing to play defense on the other end. They're getting out in transition because now they're defending and they're getting on the break. And they're getting wide open looks. This was a very, very good offensive night for the, uh, for the Mavs. And it's crazy because Ty Kyrie Irving, their second best player, sometimes first best player, took eight shots and they still got it done. And welcome back, Tim Hardaway Jr. Because there it is. this was a huge game for him, and they need him going forward with his shot making. If I'm a shooter, I want to play on the Dallas Mavericks because they have two ISO players that are going to get double teamed and trapped, and there's going to have a guys with a lot of open looks. And when they knock them down, as you see, they're hard to beat. But that was the narrative this week, was that the rumblings mm -hmm. were that guys don't like playing with Luka, and then we have a game like last night where it's like, oh, well, wait, this this can work, Lou. It's kind of nice to have a night where yeah. Kyrie can have those numbers and still win. I think that's a gift, right? Yeah, you got to give you got to give Kyle a lot of credit. Uh, very selfless in how he approached the game last night. I was looking at the game and I'm thinking, okay, when is Kyrie gonna get going? And and I I failed to even realize that P.J. Washington was cooking. <laughs> he was absolutely scoring the basketball at a high clip from the three point line, and that was Kyrie's adjustment. My guy got it going. Luca has it going. Tonight is my night to be that distributor. Tonight is my night to facilitate and make sure guys get the ball in the right spots and continue and help us get easy baskets instead of forcing up shots. Because a lot of times when you see superstars get off to a slow start like Kyrie did, even though he weren't he wasn't and taking shots, he was taking the back seat to Tim Hardaway, P.J. Washington, and Luka. Luka was fire high. He went five for five before he missed his first shot. His adjustment was, you know what, I'm going to be point guard tonight and make sure the guys that are scoring the basketball have the basketball in their hands. Great, great adjustment. I think that worked. That worked for Dallas, and it threw OKC's game plan off a little bit with some of the things that they wanted to do. I'm sure they wanted to junk the game up, run and jump, get the ball out of Kyrie's hands, get the ball out of Luka's hands. It's hard to double a guy when he's passing this so so easily and so willingly, and other guys were benefiting from it, and Dallas had a good night. And I agree with Chandler. That second game is way more important when you're going home with that momentum to be in front of your home crowd for the next two games. So it just got a little rocky for OKC in this series. Does this, look, does this go seven? It feels like it could go seven. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh, I forgot who I was talking to. It does not go seven. Where I does got... it go? It goes six. <laughs> <laughs> It goes six. I think Dallas gets it. Definitely one, maybe two at home, and I think they win it in six. Okay. Lou? I, th I think seven. I, think I hope seven. seven. I like seven. As, as a fan, I, like seven. Yeah, I, love, I, I hope think seven, seven is appropriate. All right, Lou and I agree on this one. Yeah, if you it's, think this OKC team is going away easy, mm -hmm. hell no. It's definitely hell, the best no. series. I think so, too. Also, it's the best series until Denver wins tonight. Then that series, that series also gets real. You think Denver wins tonight? Denver goes down 3-0 tonight. I agree. No. I'm with Lou. Oh, Look at this. By the way, we're just going completely off script. It's I got Alex, Bur Alex Burks plus <laughs> 10, the Let's Mavs go. in six. That's not part of the script. It's just something no, I feel. These are just side bets we're giving you for free. We're throwing our logic out. Friday, I'll make I'm excited. I'm just throwing <laughs> shit out there. Shams, you're watching this game last night. What are you seeing? I, I'm giving a lot of credit to Nico Harrison, the general manager of the, of the Dallas Mavericks. He envisioned P.J. Washington to be their version of Aaron Gordon. And when I heard that around the trade deadline, obviously that's a curious projection. P.J. Washington's a guy that's been known as a scorer, mostly in Charlotte. But to see his defensive versatility, how he's able to impact the game on multiple levels against the Clippers, he was guarding Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, James Harden, and now the way he's able to just guard really anyone on that Thunder roster, um, 29 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, seven threes, 
He's the only player since, I mean, since Stephen Curry, he's the only player in 2022 to have uh, 10, 10 rebounds or more or seven threes or more. So uh, his performance to me was big time. I expect Kyrie Irving uh, to step up, but him, Tim Hardaway, um, and Josh Green, the way that they're able to uh, chip in around Luka Doncic's big night, I think was impressive. 